It's raining again, isn't it? Good morning, fish heads. It's the middle of the week right here at Jekyll Bates. You're in the shop with me, Jen Cravasi, and it's Wednesday, hump day, whatever day you want to call it. It's a rainy day again here in Arkansas, but we've got some cool baits to show you here. Let's start with these mags. This is the uh, Crown Lake Bluegill. I've done this in a small... Um, lipless pattern and a finessier lipless and this is going out to a client to Jim Smith and these have just come off the clear coat rack and one of the things that I do and if you are ever gifted or given these to do for a client you can see it actually goes this way you can see that the wiggle wart or magnum wiggle wart is on the bill and the old ones they're always on the bill and I take a little piece of tape and before I spray it I put that tape down and that is the best way I know how to keep the integrity of identifying what time period this came from and I do that on all the, the newer ones the storms don't have them but all the older ones do so be mindful of that if you have these because if you spray over it a lot of times because they can get so precise with knockoffs these days um, a lot of times it's more difficult to tell when you have a knockoff versus the real thing the original pumpkin seed you got a pumpkin seed in here And we've got a second Crown Lake upside down. There we go. And a baby bass. So again, just a little piece of tape and all your problems are solved. Peels right up. Make sure that you peel it up before you put your clear coat on. Word of the wise. Or that tape will be on there forever. crappie and a dinger pressing of that 120 SP and this is that natural crappie molten lava get requests for this especially during the spring I get them all the time I love doing the pattern really the pattern jumps out off of this because I do a little bit of layering at an angle just shooting at an angle Very cool. One of my faves. Springtime or no, it's it's good year round pretty much, especially in stained water. Super solid. Hamilton Crawl on a wake. The all these patterns are available on every other one. If you guys see a pattern that you like, but it's on a wake bait and you don't see the pattern in the square bills or a wiggle wart, um, just holler at me. I'll make sure to put them on there. Another crappie, 1.5, rattling, black eyes. These stencils have all come from Anarchy. This is hand painted. This is obviously not stencil. It's on a 4 inch Sammy. And this is that winter green sun. So this is not a pumpkin seed. Some people do get confused. This is a green sunfish. And it's a, a deeper fall winter type pattern and we've got the arctic crappie a lot of crappie requests a lot of a lot of crappie stuff going on 
Arctic because it's got that ice blue on top. Now one thing that's pretty cool about this, just real quick, this is not going to be a long video this morning because we've got a bunch of stuff to do in the shop here. After I finish with you guys, we're going to start doing a spray session. Um, not going to be a small waters, although we do have two other small waters coming out this week. But these eyes are actually much lighter. They start out, let me see if I can find them. They start out this color. That's the color eye that this that is on that Arctic crappie. And just a real light, transparent black, just a mist. Once the eyes are put in, and it changes the whole dynamic of the bait. I really like that smoky eye on this. And then we've got the foiled. Actually, this is a foiled as well. Also from Dinger Baits. There you are, Brian. But you can see the foiling in this. It's pre-foiled. And then just the standard ice crappie, red-eyed ice crappie, also foiled. And then we've got this Florida citrus crappie. And I'm pretty practical with the names. There's, there's really nothing tricky about the names. It's just looks like oranges, lemon, and pink grapefruit on the belly. So that's what I named it. I'm, I'm pretty simple like that. Real low maintenance with my names but it is a Florida citrus crop. It is, at least it is to me. It could be uh, fluorescent to you, although these are not fluorescent colors. They look kind of like they are, but they're iridescents. Iridescents have a tendency to kind of blend in and change colors as they move through the water. Just fun stuff. I'm pretty sure that's all the news that's fit to print this morning. I'm gonna get started on some, on some spray sessions. Thanks for hanging out. You guys have already seen all that stuff, right? Yep, 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 yep. And I will see you on the spray session that should be out within the next couple of days. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope it's not raining where you are. It's been raining here for what seems like about a month. So you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Thank you.